A radio host who worked with Ellen DeGeneres back in 2013 has spoken out about the strange set of rules he was given and how he was supposed to behave while he was around Ellen. I got the tea and I'm gonna spill it here for you on IO. What's gravy fam jam? This is Inform Overload. I'm Charlotte. Subscribe for the spiciest trending news updates on YouTube and follow the IO team on social media. Neil Breen is a radio show host who runs 4BC Breakfast in Australia. He also works as an executive producer on the Today Show in Australia back in 2013. During his time working on the Today Show, he was part of a team that interviewed Ellen DeGeneres in Melbourne. He claims that there were some strange conditions for working for Ellen. Firstly, he and his crew had to fly out of Melbourne at their expense to tape the interview. He said, I quote, originally she was going to co-host the Today Show and then she was going to do this, then she was going to do that and the whole thing got watered down to Ellen DeGeneres would do a sit down interview. Because it's the Ellen Show, they controlled everything. They controlled the interview seats, the lights, how it would work, everything. The producers called us aside and said, okay, this is how it's going to work here this morning. Ellen's going to arrive at 10 15 and she'll be sitting in this chair here and Richard you'll be sitting in this chair here. Neil no one's to talk to Ellen so you don't talk to her, you don't approach her, you don't look at her. She'll come in, she'll sit down, she'll talk to Richard and Ellen will leave. I found the whole thing bizarre. He said that with every word Ellen DeGeneres said her team would giggle and laugh so much so that he had to tell them to be quiet since they were taping an interview. I'm not blaming Ellen because I didn't get to talk to her because I wasn't allowed to so I don't know whether she's a nice person or not. I wouldn't have a clue but I can tell you the people who worked around her walked on eggshells the whole time. Honestly, as someone who has worked on set and someone who knows people in the industry who work behind the scenes with huge celebrities, it's really not uncommon for celebrities to request that they not be spoken to by anyone. I can understand if it's someone who was like, let's say, a method actor, someone who needs to be in the zone and focus before they film the big scene and they don't want to be bothered by, let's say, background actors. Because, you know, that's kind of a thing. You're on the set of a big TV show as a background actor and you're really close to these celebrities. You want to get like selfies with them and stuff. And you're so close that you can actually see how much makeup they wear when they're shooting. <coughs> Keeper Sutherland. Sorry, what was that in my throat? <laughs> it really doesn't surprise me that Ellen doesn't want to be spoken to by the little people, as they call them. That's kind of just how it works. Not saying it's right, but I'm just telling you, Ellen isn't the only celebrity that makes these kind of demands. I used to take a lot of photos of famous DJs, and I can tell you that Tiesto, for example, wouldn't allow photographers to photograph him from up close. And we were only allowed to take photos for the first five minutes of his set. That kind of limited the amount of photos, whether they were good or bad. Um, I think maybe that might have had something to do with he was getting a little bit older and he didn't want there to be unflattering photos of himself. Beyonce also makes sure that there's only specific photos of her that get released. Her team makes it so that only photos approved by her and her team will make it into tabloids and news articles. To a certain extent, I get it. I feel like when you get to be a huge celebrity like that, you can make these kinds of demands. You have like a lot of power. But it's still interesting to find out how far some celebrities go and what specific demands they make. I feel like we can make a top 10 about that. How do you guys feel about that? Do you have any experiences with celebrities making weird demands? Do you think celebrities should be able to make weird demands? Would you make weird demands if you were a celebrity? I would order M&Ms and have all the brown ones picked out because they look like poop. <laughs> Tell me a weird demand that you would make if you were a celebrity on your rider. Let me know down in the comments. For now, I'm gonna wrap up this video with some common features. Carly said, Charlotte, it's my birthday and I've never had a shout out. Could I please get a two for one, my potato queen? Two for one what? Two for one shout out? Shout out and birthday shout out? Happy birthday, Carly, I hope it was amazing. Kane Snow said, Charlotte, keep sharing your opinion, even CNN does. I think I might. That's it for me, thanks for watching. Leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you want more. I'll see you guys next time.